Recently, I got an email from Al Prevedel asking me if I had anything on my site showing how to sharpen a Forstner bit. So I did some looking around and I was surprised to see that a lot of the ways that are recommended for sharpening these are a little bit complex or involve you know, expensive equipment. I'm going to go through this and show you how to do this with just two files. I'm going to use a small chainsaw sharpening file and a triangular file. So I have one of my older three quarter inch bits that I'm going to do this demonstration with. Now this is a bit that I tried to sharpen uh, a while ago. I think it was probably a little over a year. And I did it with a moto tool, like a Dremel, and pretty much butchered it. So I'm going to try to repair it here and make it cut good again. I have these little V-blocks that I quickly made and I'm going to use those to hold the bit. I'm going to put it in so that the bit is sticking up pretty high and tighten it in my vise. The first area I'm going to work on is this cutting edge right here. When I use the rotary tool I use a round stone to try to sharpen that and it kind of didn't do a very good job. So this time instead what I'm going to be using is a round file and I'm just going to take it and work this edge all the way around slowly like this and what I'm looking for is to avoid hitting any other part of the drill bit that is actually sharp. I'll just go like this forward motion to work on the front part of this edge and then carry through to the back. And what I'm looking for is to create a bit of a burr on the edge here. I can feel it on part of it but not on the back here so I'll just continue Now I'm just going to loosen the vise and to rotate the bit around so that I can work on the other edge. Now that I have both of those edges sharp, I'm not going to remove the burr. I'm going to leave that. What will actually happen is that the very first time you use it, that burr will come right off. So I'm not going to worry about that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to a small triangular file and I'm going to work on the very cutting edge of those first two edges that I just did. I'm going to take my triangular file and I'm going to put it right in the notch of that tooth. I'm going to angle my file upwards so that it clears the point of the Forstner bit here and stroke forward so that I sharpen the face of that tooth. I've turned a bit around and now I'm going to work on the other cutting tooth. At this point I'm happy with how sharp these two edges are plus the cutting teeth on the front of them. Now I need to change my focus to these two chippers here in the middle. To sharpen this I'm going to take my file and angle it upwards and stroke ahead. The normal procedure is to stroke backwards against the edge but in this case I want to make sure that I miss everything and so I'm going to angle it upwards like this and just push it across. I'm being careful not to damage the tooth that I've already sharpened. Now once again I'll loosen the vise and rotate the bit and do the other cutting edge. Okay I'm happy with how it looks. Let's go try it out on the drill press to see how it cuts. I've got a piece of maple here that I'm just going to drill a couple of holes into. Okay, a nice clean cut. I'm happy with that. It actually cut in really quickly too, which is nice. A little bit of squealing on the way out, but from what I understand, if you put some wax on the sides of the bit, that will cut down on that or eliminate it entirely. So that was a three-quarter inch bit, a lower cost one, 
You might be wondering if it works on, say, a better model. And I have a Freud set that I tried to sharpen one of, and I had no problem with that either. The files cut in without any difficulty. Also, if you have one that's a bit bigger, usually they have these teeth. You will file that in the same way. You'll work on the round part with the round file. And then after you're done with that, you file each individual tooth. What you're looking for is to thin out that edge where the teeth are. So it's not going to take as much round file work, but you'll have to do a little bit more triangular filing. The only thing you have to watch out for is that you're not hitting something else when you're filing the area you're working on. So angle the file upwards when you're working on these teeth. And if it cuts in a little bit on the side there, it seems to make no difference whatsoever. Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you liked it and thanks for watching.